When building AI agents, it's really important to get tool use or function calling correctly. So not all models are created equal. Some models are really great at function calling or tool use and others, not so much. You've got to choose the best model for the job. How can we decide this? Well, thankfully, there's benchmarks for this. The, the most prominent one is the BFCL, Berkeley Function Calling um, L, leaderboard. <laughs> and, and that benchmark will show you what's the best models right now for function calling. Um, that's how you decide. So let's take a look. This is, um, this is the BFCL, um, and it shows you that the best function calling model in the world right now um, overall is this one, is the GLM 4.5. And you may be thinking, what is that? That's not Claude, that's not OpenAI. Indeed, it's by ZAI. I don't even know what that is, it's some different company, but they make great frontier models. Um, you can click into it and find out more. So if we click here, you'll see that it's from ZAI. And um, you know, it's a series uh, of foundation models designed for intelligent agents, and you can go into all the details. Um, this model is open source and accessible via Hugging Face, and you can even run it locally if you want. But if you're building an application, maybe you don't wanna do that yet, right? Maybe you're prototyping, or maybe not. Maybe you just wanna use this model hosted on some other infrastructure. How do you do that? Do you just use Hugging Face? Or thankfully, there's a company called Open Router that is doing great work in this area. What Open Router does is they take models, open source models, and and also the providers of those models, companies like Together AI, um, companies like uh, RunPod, I believe, and there's many many companies that host models, and they have a list of providers and a list of models, and they build an API or a bridge such that your application sends a request to Open Router, and Open Router routes to the cheapest, fastest, best provider for that model. It's really awesome. So let's let's look at Open Router and how it works. So if you go to openrouter.com, uh, you will see this is it. And we can search for GLM uh, 4.5, for example, and that's on Open Router. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna decline this cookie stuff. And ZAI, GLM 4.5. And you can see, if you go to providers, these are all the providers. So there's Mansur, there's Deep Infra, there's Weights and Biases, Novita AI, ZAI themselves, etc. And they show you things like uptime. So how often is this down? Throughput, how many uh, tokens per second? And how fast, etc. And so when you send a request to Open Router, they choose the best provider for you to get the most bang for your buck. As a user, you can say, I would prefer not those providers, I prefer these. You can also have your preferences way in there. It's so cool though. Uh, and so you can just choose a great model and then the providers are handled with open router. Uh, Langflow has first class support for open router. So you can build some really great agents very easily with Langflow. Let's take a look at that. So let's go here to Langflow. Uh, this is Langflow, welcome. And we'll make a blank flow and we'll go straight to open router right here, open router. Uh, here. And so what we have is the input system prompt and the API key. I'm going to choose mine. And when you add an API key, uh, now you should get, so we have a list of all these models, including GLM uh, 4.5. Look at that. So cool. And we can test it out. I can just say hi and click play. Is it working? Um, it's going to send this off. Cool. I got a response. Let's check. Cool. It works. Uh, and so now I can just use this to build my agentic application. Let's do it. Why not? So, um, Come here, I will make this expose a language model and now I can use this language model in an agent. So I'll drag an agent right here. Um, and so I've got this and then let's get the usual suspects, a chat input, a chat output, right? And, and we'll add some tools as well. So uh, I've got my agent right here, chat input. Let's just wire these up. So chat input goes here, chat output goes there. Language model, uh, I'll just choose a custom model right here and we'll do this. The last thing we need is a tool. Um, what tool should we use? I don't know, web search, uh, just, just to demonstrate, you know, how good is this actually at calling tools? So we'll do web search right here, turn on tool mode, um, and we'll just give the agent the tool. All right, so now we're using the world's best tool calling model per the BFCL, uh, and we're doing it in Langflow, pretty easy. So let's, uh, let's check it out, so let's go to the playground. Um, Hey, search the web for the news headlines today, Oct 22, 2025, right? Um, and so it's gonna do it so fast too. I'll search for today's news headlines. Here are the news headlines, incredible. Uh, something, something Trump as usual. Uh, and, and if we come here, we can, we can see the steps it performed, but this, it's totally using a tool calling model, incredible. Um, and it's using it, using the fastest, cheapest provider and it's just going and going. Um, but look at that, incredible. And it's using ZAI GLM 4.5. These are the steps, just totally used the tool calling model. Incredible, right? Um, 
just okay but now what how do i expose this to my users well let's you know if you go in langflow we can now share this over an http api that you can just fetch and this will automatically call open router for us or we can expose this thing as an mcp server uh, and use model context protocol in cursor or claude or windsor for other mcp client that's so we we built something that uses an open source model and that does so uh, with Langflow and Open Router, I, I think this is this is absolutely tremendous. And of course, we're using the best tool calling model in the world, um, but we can use the best any model hosted anywhere, uh, thanks to uh, Open Router and Langflow. One one last thing before we wrap up, which one of it is it using though? And so it's really show ignored. Let's turn this on. So we we are ignoring those ones and using these ones. So the the best one with the highest uptime the you know the the most throughput and the most latency um some of these are ignored because for example shoots no disrespect shoots but um they may use your prompts and completions to train new models and so there may be a bit of a privacy issue there so me in my user level preferences i said i don't want that and so open router will take that into consideration um i think the marriage of langflow and open router is tremendous for this reason allowing us to build really cheap fast applications with the world's best models thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one